Chris Versace is here. He manages the Growth Seeker portfolio. Good to see you again, Chris. Nice to see you, Rhonda. You have made some recent changes. So let's talk about what you did with the fund that uh, caught your eye, new stock. Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking us since we took over, you know, when are you going to add a new name? When are you going to add a new name? Put some <laughs> cash to work. And, and we did recently with Taser International, T-A-S-R. You know, Taser's long been known for just that, the Taser guns, but that's not what attracted us to the story. It's the transformation in the business model towards not only just body cameras, which we're seeing a lot of demand for given what's going on with law enforcement, but it's really the back end service, a cloud video storage service that is a subscription business model. We like that, you know, for a number of different reasons. So what kind of growth do you look for in a name like this when you add it? Sure. So when you look at Taser, they have relationships with, you know, uh, you know, the vast majority of law enforcement offices in the US. This is an ability to layer on a new product and a new recurring service. So it's, it's a way to really, you know, blow up in a good way their revenue stream. And because of the margins that we'll see accorded with the new businesses, we should really see a lot of incremental EPS drop to the bottom line. Now, you also downgraded one of the mm -hmm. stocks in the portfolio, so tell me about that. Well, you know, uh, like I talked about on the Teleform we did a little while ago for the Chairman's Club, we, we've been um, victims of good success. And, you know, uh, Aris has, you know, moved up. It's within 8% of our price target. So, you know, with the ones and the two and the three rating systems, we wanted to downgrade Aris from a one to a two because we didn't want people piling in at current levels. You know, two is a buy on weakness, and that's where we are right now with it. So beyond Eris, when you look at some of these big names and mm -hmm. sectors in a growth for portfolio, what happens when rates rise, if that is the case a few weeks from now? Well, you know, it's a great question. You know, I think there's going to be a lot of data-dependent news that's coming to see if the Fed does, in does indeed raise rates. Uh, I think, you know, like we saw uh, recently with the market kind of trimming off, selling off a little bit, I think we'll continue to see that. And then once we move through that rate increase and we see that these um, transformational growth stories are still intact, then I think we're back off to the races. Chris Versace, good to see you. Thanks. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.